If all the warriors of one side should fall, it spells defeat for their deity and master. And here I was thinking one of our enemies was acting oddly. Now I see he plans to deliberately invite that defeat. Thus they preserve the power of their goddess and carry it with them to the next battle. Their precious crystals, the blessings of Cosmos. Yes, and yet, I am bothered by a simple fact. The warriors of Cosmos have suffered loss after loss. Not one of them holds memories of previous struggles. They should know nothing of these matters. From whom did they learn this strategy for ushering in a new conflict? Cosmos herself? Or more worrisome? An ally of chaos. For only the victors have been permitted to remember all that has passed before. Who could it be? Who among us would offer up that knowledge? Hmm. No matter. It will be satisfying to dash their budding hopes. What exactly are you planning? Their annihilation in one fell swoop. You mean to attack Cosmos directly? It seems to me a much more efficient method than hunting each warrior down one by one. We will take this fragile hope of theirs and crush it beneath our boots, won't we, Golbez? Ah, that reminds me. The divine power they strive to protect. This brave soul managed to take a shard for himself. <laughs> He is a vessel touched by the energy of a goddess. I look forward to his next awakening. Keeping yourself busy, I see. What do you want? You seem awfully interested in Cosmos's little pawns. I thought perhaps you might be planning something devilish and came to join in on the fun. You were mistaken. With the mannequins on our side, our victory is no longer left to chance. There is no further need for strategy. Yes, I suppose you are right. The mannequins are truly merciless. Even should they best an opponent, they do not allow him to slink from the battlefield to lick his wounds. Mannequins fight until the last spark of life has been extinguished from their foe. The heroes of Harmony will receive the gift of eternal death and no longer be subject to these pitiless resurrections. Would they be denied their final rest and thrust into battle time and time again? No. This is a kindness. That's if the war cannot be stopped. Are you implying there might be an end to this struggle? I imply nothing. 
There is no end in sight. There you are. Do I... know you? I am your enemy. That is all you need to know. A warrior of chaos, you mean? Yes. Now fight me. Provide me with some challenge before you die.
thanks to you, I seem to have regained much of what I'd forgotten. <laughs> and yet, there must be more. <sighs> what would happen if I cut you down? Would your fall serve to unlock even deeper memories? It's worth a try, don't you think? Sephiroth, stop! <laughs> a little late to the party, aren't you, Cloud? No! Raising a blade against me? Very well. You leave me little choice. friend of mine. That's enough, for now. There will be time later to take your life in trade for this betrayal. Hey, thanks for helping me out back there. It's no big deal. No, really. I thought I was a goner. So, hey, my name's Tifa. You're one of Cosmos's warriors too, huh? Actually, no. I'm on the other side. Wait, so you fought one of your allies? Why? I felt like it. You felt like it? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You rescue your enemies when the mood strikes you? Something like that. I guess it would make sense for Warriors of Chaos to be a little unpredictable. Still surprises me, though. Speaking of which, you haven't told me your name. I'm Cloud. Cloud. Oh, sorry. So... Cloud, are you... I mean, do we know each other? I can't remember much of anything from before... all this. But when I heard your name, I thought we might... No. I've never met you before. No, huh? Sorry, but, uh, girls gotta ask. Anyway, thanks again for saving my skin. The way you showed up and fought that guy off, it was a pretty cool thing to watch. You were like a hero, huh. charging in to save the girl. Chaos and Cosmos. Since you're one of Chaos's chosen warriors, I guess that means we'll have to fight each other eventually. I guess so. I don't know if I can bring myself to think of you as an enemy. Well, you sure better try. Once you start second-guessing, you're done for. Huh. We're enemies no matter how you look at it. We have to fight. But for now, you should head back and join your friends before I have another change of heart. Huh? I'm not in a fighting mood today. Go, 
You should leave while you still have the chance. Before you change your mind? Yes. Cloud? Will I see you again? You will. But the next time we meet, we'll be as enemies. I won't go easy on you. Thanks for the warning. Once your memories return, you'll lose the will to fight. Just like I have. So, before that can happen, I have to act.
Fight until you are bloodied and battered. The mannequins will not be stopped. If you go onward, no, you shall not return alive. You shall die knowing how powerless you are. Cain. <laughs> Surely you do not mean to stop me. Not now, with the end so near. I believe I owe you my thanks. I had begun to abandon hope. I had thought the cycle endless, and Cecil beyond saving. Our work is not yet finished. 
If we fail, it was all for nothing. Should you go on, your undoing is assured. You were certain you do not wish to see the next battle. Not all roads have a future waiting at their end. But this is mine. Then far be it from me to stop you from walking it to the end. There will be an end to this. A true end. I promise you that. Your volition cannot overcome discord. Breaking my 
of your strength. How? Trim! In the presence of pure chaos! Well, lonely pawn, has your vaunted blade altered fate's course? Your own obliteration. That is the greatest change you can ever hope to accomplish in this world. Now surrender to the inexorable grasp of deepest, darkest pandemonium. And lose yourself to oblivion. Is this it? Is this the end? Cosmos, goddess of harmony, if you can hear me, listen to my plea. I beg you, save her. Save my friend. Tifa. The voice of a warrior. An end to this conflict, and a life spared? This is your heart's desire? If your will remains unchanged, I shall bring you here when the battle draws to a close. Cloud, my chosen. Has my power waned so greatly? No, I can still sense it somehow. What could this mean? Goddess of Harmony, I see you have awoken. And you are... I am an ally of Chaos. However, I have come bearing you a message, and nothing more. A message? Very well. Let us hear your words. You do not doubt my intentions? My warriors have yet to rise from their slumber. The first blow in this new war has not yet been struck. You have been deliberate in the timing of your arrival. I assume that before my chosen awake and the battle begins, there is something you feel that I should know. In the previous battle, you fell before your minions were defeated. By the rules of this conflict, the heroes of Harmony should have been destroyed along with you. However, they remained upon this world and received purification. They did. 
with the divine energy that maintains this realm. You unleashed your power, set it free for the sake of your chosen. Ah, oh, this explains much. Why I feel so weakened. You are weakened, and the reason why is that your minions yet bear the power you surrendered. Yes, I sense it. I feel my energy burning brightly within them, as well as its purpose. However, have you considered the consequences should you again decide to share your divine strength in this diminished state? I choose my path knowing what may come, knowing what the future may hold and what's at stake. If you have indeed embarked willingly upon this course, then I shall depart. There is nothing left for me to say. The depth of your resolve is admirable. My resolve? If only I had discovered it so much sooner. <laughs> <laughs>